P38 kinases are a class of mitogen-activated protein kinases that are responsive to stress stimuli, such as cytokines, ultraviolet irradiation, heat shock, and osmotic shock, and are involved in cell differentiation, apoptosis and autophagy. The P38 pathway is the third major signaling cassettes of the mitogen-activated protein kinase, MAPK, signaling pathway. It functions in the control of apoptosis and the release of cytokines by macrophages and neutrophils. The pathway takes its name from the family of P38 kinases, which are the MOPs that interact with the final effectors. The P38 family members possess a TGY motif in the activation segment. Like J and K pathway, P38 signaling are strongly activated by environmental stresses and inflammatory cytokines. Its activation contributes to inflammation, apoptosis, cell differentiation, and cell cycle regulation. Mammalian P38 mitogen activated protein kinases. MOPs, are activated by a wide range of cellular stresses as well as in response to inflammatory cytokines. There are four members of the P38 MOP family, P38 alpha, P38 beta, P38 gamma and P38 delta, which are about 60% identical in their amino acid sequence but differ in their expression patterns, substrate specificities and sensitivities to chemical inhibitors. A large body of evidences indicates that P38 MOPC activity is critical for normal immune and inflammatory response. The distribution of these P38 kinase are different, P38 alpha, P38 beta 1, P38 beta 2 are extensively existed in various of cells and tissues, while P38 gamma is only existed in skeletal muscle cell and P38 delta is mainly existed in glandular tissue. The P38 pathway can be activated either by different receptor or by various environmental stresses such as osmotic, redox or radiation stress, for example, one of the CDC25 enzymes activated by UV radiation that control cell cycle progression. The primary MAPICs for P38 modules are MKK3 and MKK6, and the MAPICs include MLK2 and MLK3, MEX, ASCS, TAC1, and TAU1 and TAU2. Important substrates in P38 signaling include the downstream kinases MK23, PREC, and MSK1 and MSK2, as well as various transcription factors. The signals are transmitted by induction of a complex network of signaling molecules that often results either in activation of small GT posses such as RAC and CDC42, or sometime via interactions of adapter proteins. These two processes then induce activation of protein kinases at either the MAP4K or directly the MAP bacteria of the P38 cascade. This large number of MAP bacteria kinases transmit their signals to a much smaller number of MAPs, phosphorylating them on SER and THR residues at the typical SERs aolysis-SER slash THR motif in their activation loop. The main MAP of the P38 cascade are MKK6 and MKK3. The next tier of the cascade is composed of several P38 kinases which are all activated by phosphorylation of the tire and THR residues in the THR gly tire motif in their activation loop. Once these P38s are activated, they either transmit the signal to the mop capped level components mop cap 2, mop cap 3, MNK1-2, MSK1-2, and MK5 park, or phosphorylate regulatory molecules such as PLA2 heat shock proteins, the transcription factors ATF2, ELK1, CHOP, MEF2C, and more. P38 MOP controls progression of myoblasts differentiation at multiple levels, transcription factor activity, chromatin remodeling and turnover of MRNAs encoding certain regulators of muscle differentiation. Another role for P38-alpha that was first elucidated is its involvement in chemotactic cell migration. Most investigations on the role of P38-alpha in cell migration have focused on links with the cytoskeleton rather than changes in gene expression. The regulation of the P38 MOP pathway and its functions in vivo are shown in figure. Most of the studies have focused on P38-alpha, establishing its implication in tissue homeostasis and several pathologies from inflammation and the immune response to cancer, heart and neurodegenerative diseases. A strong link has been established between the P38 pathway and inflammation. The activation of the P38 pathway plays essential roles in the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, IL-1-beta, TNF-alpha and IL-6. Abundant evidence for P38 involvement in apoptosis exists to date and is based on concomitant activation of P38 and apoptosis induced by a variety of agents such as NGF withdrawal and FOS ligation. Overexpression of P38 and yeast led to significant slowing of proliferation while treatment in mammalian cells with P38-alpha, 
beta inhibitor SB203580 slowed proliferation as well. In addition P38 has been implicated in G1 and G2-M phases of the cell cycle in several reports. P38 act as a kinase involved in a wide range of complex biologic processes, such as cell proliferation, cell differentiation, cell death, cell migration, and invasion. The dysregulation of P38 levels in patients play an important role in advanced stages and short survival in cancer patients. P38 plays a dual role as a regulator of cell death, and it can either mediate cell survival or cell death depending not only on the type of stimulus but also in a cell type specific manner. In addition to modulating cell survival, an essential role of P38 in modulation of cell migration and invasion offers a distinct opportunity to target this pathway with respect to tumor metastasis. The pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease, AD, are the accumulation of extracellular plaques and intracellular neurofibrillary tangles that are composed of filaments polymers of beta amyloid and the neuronal microtubule associated protein tau, respectively. It has been proposed that elevated levels of beta amyloid and AD brain induces microglial activation and consequent release of pro-inflammatory cytokines induced by the P38 MOP pathway, which may contribute to the development of this pathology together with other disorders such as neuronal injury, trauma, ischemia and accumulation of oxidants with brain aging. Cardiovascular mortality is an important health problem in human populations. Two leading causes of cardiac morbidity are pressure overload cardiac hypertrophy resulting from hypertension and cardiomyocyte apoptosis and necrosis following ischemic injuries. Sheer stress from pressure overload can activate stress-activated protein kinases pathways, whereas both ischemia and reperfusion of isolated rat hearts lead to activation of P38 MOPK and MOPKAPK2. Studies have found P38 MOPKs can induce cardiac hypertrophy. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website, www.creativediagnostics.com.